everybody, this is Sanak here, welcoming you back to another episode of my Shining Pearl Let's Play. In the last episode, we got here to Celestic Town, and um, we were tasked by Cynthia to go ahead and bring her uh, grandmother the old charm and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that in today's episode as well, uh, and just finish things up here in Celestic Town while we're here. Um, I didn't really do anything off screen, I don't know why I keep walking back and forth in there. Um, but nothing major or anything happened. I just changed my clothes to the winter style because I thought it looked nice, you know? So might as well get some changes here and there. Might as well. The game's part of it, or they offer it. So I thought it looked nice. So uh, before we go ahead and move forward, I would do I really appreciate it if you guys do hit the like button and subscribe down below to join the Snox Squad today as it will support the channel and helps me out. So appreciate you all. So let's just go ahead and get started. So... There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There's nothing here. There isn't anything here. So, but it only seems like he's it's making him angry. So he's saying he will blow the town with the bomb. The nerve of it all. If I were only younger, I'd punish that spaceman with a Pokemon. Uh, I think you still can, Grandma. Uh, I do have Shinobu out because look how cute she is. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I kind of updated everyone's uh, <laughs> um, ball capsule. So I, I kind of wanted to point out Shinobu's a little bit. I actually like how that looks a lot. Um, but we'll be showing everyone off. Uh, I think one thing I want to point out, Bonsai's is the one that I have maximum 20 stickers on already. So very, very, I, I just thought that was funny. So this town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist. So I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Uh, yes. So you dared to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started with the battle against the Team Galactic Grunt. Yo, I'm loving the outfit. It looks really cool. Uh, I really appreciate that they did that. They didn't have to do that. Um, but the fact that they did it in this remake specifically and not all the other ones kind of makes me happy. Yo, my remake, dog. Let's go. Um, I think... Fire Punch has more. Yeah, let's go ahead and just Fire Punch it. Um, that's something that I need to also get in touch with. Um, I need to find a Magmorizer or Magmorizer for Ozai. And then I also need to uh, see if one of my buddies can help me trade that. Um, because I know it shoutouts to Rebel. If you're familiar with him, if not, um, please go check him out. Rebel Trainer. Uh, he's doing a chest lock, which is very, very cool. Uh, I don't know. I think it might have shown already in his side once of this video goes up. But uh, I helped him do some trading to get some evolutions for them too, so. Too much to handle. Whatever, I'm out of this one horse town. There's nothing to do here anyways. All right. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend you check out that chest lock. It's very confusing. Well, not confusing if you write things down, but... It's super specific, and I think Rebel's making it work, so. Well, aren't you quite the traitor? That was magnificent. As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm, may I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with that to deliver it to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. So we got the old charm to the elder. Something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. His honor, the mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. The Otarm is still discovered now and then. Okay, so what's in this ruins, lady? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you kind of have to forgive me because honestly, I'm trying to record these as much as I can. And it's been insane with how much I've actually have recorded. I think this is episode 11 and within the, the past few days. Oh my God, my throat's killing me. And I don't know if you can probably tell a couple voice cracks here and there, kind of me having to go <coughs> from time to time, so I do apologize. Um, uh, you should take these. But we are getting ready for Thanksgiving. Let's go. So we got Surf. Let's go. I like that. You love to see it. Uh, the user controls a huge wave. Okay, very nice. Uh, cross waters. Dang. Okay, so we have to go to Heart Home now and actually fight Fantina. So that looks like to be the objective of today's episode. Because we're going to go get the fifth badge. Wow, we're already on the fifth badge. Hi, Cyrus. 
There appears to be a, been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a world. A world without strife. However, that power seems to be unavailable here. We've met before, yes? It was in Mount Coronet. If you have discovered any power derived from the Legends of Sinnoh, inform me. For that, power is what I need to create my new world. Uh, sure thing, boss man. We're immediately part of Team Galactic, as you can see. Um, nothing there. I kind of feel bad Shinobu's just trying to catch up. I'm like, no, wait for me, please. But, um, what else is there? I think there's some herb shops here as well. Uh, do you give anything? Hello. Found on train, unimportant, need to watch, take this for me. Okay, so we got the analog watch. Okay, so it's... <laughs> I loved that about this game. Sometimes the apps were really pointless. Uh, which one was it? Did we already take 41,000 steps? Holy crap. Um, cool. I'm going to just annoy you all with that for a second. No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't want that on the screen. Um, What do you have? There's no Pokemart in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items from this house right next to me. Okay. So technically, there's a Mart, but I think it's just some old lady selling stuff. Let me help you. Um, I was about to say, maybe they give it to you... Um, for like a little bit pricier maybe but um what's it called i do also like the detail in the bag uh you can kind of see where on the bottom where it's like that little brown bag depending on your outfit it will actually change and stuff too so i really appreciate that so it's just the small things that i really enjoy uh how many great balls do i have uh i don't need to do too many pokeballs or anything Buy a couple revives, let's be honest. We might have to be... Not anytime soon, but for once we go on the longer, longer trips or whatever, uh, that would be useful. But you, hello. Local history. Um, I think if you come into this building, I think this is where her grandmother stays. Did you get bad? Okay, you'll be able to go... I think if you read this, you began reading it. When the Pokemon born, intelligent bloomed among us. Um, bloomed among us. Were, okay, so a lot of Among Us, they must love to play the game. Um, I don't think, okay, I don't know if it was just, no, I, I don't know why I read it three times. Do you show us? Where are you from? Twin Leaf, okay. Someone shows us something, I think. Uh, I guess not. Never mind. I thought it was going to be something where they show you, like, uh, Palkia and Dialga. But I guess not. Uh, so let's just go ahead and quit wasting some time. And just fly to um, Heart Home. There we go. I do want to see if I can teach um, Shinobu um, Surf. I don't think she can already. Can you learn surf? That would be fantastic. Sort oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you can, okay. Oh, not always I. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can get rid of for her. Um, okay, so 100% we're getting rid of water guns, so. Go ahead and do that real quick. <clears throat> um, it's kind of unfortunate because Shinobu's still like level 21 and everyone else is already like in the high, like mid thirties. So hoping to get some of those levels up already for her, but at least we're going to be able to do some training while we're in the area. So let's go ahead and do that. What is three plus five plus seven? So that is 12, 15, okay. Uh, I saw a meme and it was hilarious. People were like, why was it math in, in Fantina's gym? This look, this is dumb, it doesn't make sense. And someone pointed out, because math is scary. 
it, it blew my mind, and I've never went back since. What's 12 plus 28? So that's 30, 40. I'm hoping I don't screw any up because I think, to be honest, I think math is my favorite subject. So, <laughs> um, if I had to say I had a favorite subject, but you guys are gonna let me know what your favorite is. So three times 13, that is 39. I'm smart. I am. Let's go. Um, but yeah, math has always been something that I, I don't care about doing, to be honest. What was the first floor's answer? 15. Um, but yeah, look at that. Very, very easy. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, dang, I didn't hear. Um, I should have an orange berry. It's crazy to see uh, us fighting Fantina so late, because I'm again I'm used to platinum, and uh, seeing her right in the beginning. So let's screw it. Let's go. Oh ho ho! Finally, you arrived. Since I came to this region, I have tried to learn new things. They hold contest. They hold contest shows in the city. I say to myself, if in if I will exceed. That's why I'm dressed this way. Says un performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be a gym leader. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. Does that? That is what a gym leader does, Nong. Fantina! Let's do it. So this battle is going to be very interesting. Uh, we got ghost types. So Drift Blim. Ooh. Scary, scary ghost types coming in. Um... Her team is scarier in Diamond and Pearl, 100%. Okay, so we're still kind of a little overleveled, I will say, but thankfully not anything too drastic. But Okay, so you're going to fly. I forget how uh, speedy Drift Blim is. Um, I think it's like base 80. I could be wrong. I like the little touches that it's still kind of... Oh, wait, no. I thought I was not going to be able to use it, no. Um, I like you could still see them, but I, I was thinking like, oh, it's funny how when you're all the way up there, you could still see stage lights or whatever. But I mean, you could still see them here. But I don't know, rambling. But okay, so good. We have the burn and the confusion. I didn't look this up, but um, I was wondering if Nezuko could learn. Shadow Ball out, uh, by level up, and then I was kind of debating whether to teach it to her already or not. So I'm kind of maybe going in a little underprepared in that sense because Nezuko could be a really good Pokemon for them too. So it just kind of sucks because she's weak to herself as well. So, and by that I mean ghost typing. Um, do I already send her out? I think she's slow, though. It's kind of unfortunate. Mm. Why not? We gotta take it. Uh, Hex will do more damage since he, uh, the Drift Blim is um, burned. So, dang it! Of course, you snap out of it. Please don't die. Okay, good. So Hex, it is then. So thankfully, Drift Blim's done. This is gonna be a little unfortunate because I'm scared of her Miss Magius a lot. So, okay, Shinobu level 22 now. You just got Surf. No, thank you. Well, what do you have that I won't be using just in case? Um, To be honest, I don't really use Attract much anyway, so having the chance to Confuse is pretty nice, I will say. Alright, so we got Gengar coming in. Do you have Levitate here? Did they fix that in this one? Because if you don't have Levitate, Bonsai can come in clutch here. Let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, Shadow Claw. Wow, you lived on one. 
Oh, okay. Well, thanks for toughing it out. I kind of didn't want that mechanic to come in, but it sucks that it's, like, tied to the happiness and stuff. But, I mean, can you tough it out one more time? No. <laughs> that would have been cool, though. Um, now, question is, do you have Levitate in this gen? Or in this remake? Yo, that, all those 20 stickers just for that. Uh, please don't have Levitate. Okay, I shouted at it. So you don't have Levitate anymore. That's sad, to be honest. Uh, Alright, well, that's fine, I mean... I think the Miss Magius has Levitate anyway. Okay, so... Oh heavens, what is this? This is my final Pokemon. Ooh, this one's scary. Ooh, that that animation looked pretty nice, not gonna lie. Uh, let's go ahead and fight this ghost. Bonsai, please don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. That's all I'm asking. I mean... <laughs> Alright. Alright, Bonsai. I need you to do it again. But don't miss this time. Okay, thankfully it's not doing anything too crazy. And I'm... Okay. Yo, confusion is the worst. Not gonna lie. I'm kind of half-tempted just to leech seed here. But... Okay, avoided via my shout. See, like... See, this is why I think <laughs> I'm 100% blaming that mechanic for confusion hitting me that much. Oh, I know, that's not the reason, but that sucks! Alright, let's go ahead and heal real quick. Oh! Fantina in the confusion, and personally, I kind of upset about that whole um, the happiness thing, not gonna lie. That's the one thing that I don't like about this remake. It, I understand why they had to do it there, I guess, in place of it, because there's no like Pokemon at me or anything. What? I hit every single bit of confusion hit me. Jesus. Bonsai. I know you're excited and you're missing every or dodging all these attacks, but I need you to quit it because you're hitting yourself. <laughs> um, I'd rather be taking damage legitimately than by stupid RNG. Um, I I want to know if this bite's even gonna do anything good. I need you to not be confused. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's all I wanted to know, game. Never give up, no matter what. Uh, I mean, heal, heal, heal. <laughs> so Dazzling Gleam, you're just going to keep doing that. Does that lower a stat? I think it could lower special defense. I forget. But with that, Fantina is done, thankfully. I think I kind of deserved it after all those confusion things, but... Bonsai is level 36 now, so thankfully we were just on par again. Another on par gym leader. Um, everyone gaining a level up here. Very nice. You're so fantastically strong. I know why you ha I have lost. <clears throat> I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You and your Pokemon so strong. Your p power is admirable. 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 <laughs> Jeez. Admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. Uh, don't mind the other gym badges. They're kind of gross looking. It's because I don't shine them much. Not gonna lie. I should shine them before every recording. But. So now we can finally use Surf and get across. Uh, the Shadow Claw, right? Is what her move was. Crits often. Okay, so I think... I don't think Miss... Miss Drevis can learn it, because she had no hands. She got no hands. Um, Let's go ahead and see. No, you can't learn it. That's alright. I wasn't going to really use it anyway. So. 
Alrighty, well, that is done. We can go ahead and move forward now. I think now we can go to Kanalave. Kanalave? Kanalave? I forget what it's called exactly, but... Do I have to go through every single room? If I go through a wrong door? Okay, never mind. I'm gonna have to go through it anyway. I uh, could have used them all for training, but I mean, as you guys, as you guys can see, I'm still on par with everything, and I'm not too worried about it. I like to stay under leveled with things personally because just kind of like the challenge and everything too. But uh, being on par is just as fine. Ooh. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we finished that. I just decided to cut back out here because going to the rooms is annoying. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. You're not very easy to track down. My grandmother told me about what took place in Celestic Town. Thanks for what you did by the ruins. But that Team Galactic, I thought they were just a bunch of eccentrics. You know, talking about how they're going to make a new universe and all, and the weird way they did dress too. I thought they were harmless. It appears as they're a lot more in trouble than I thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon? That's just plain wrong. I mean, I catch and hoard, but I don't steal, so I guess it's right. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If if you did, you may want to visit the library in Kanalav City. So they have some ancient books that you might find interesting. So we'll be able to help the completion of your Pokedex. I thought you ought to go there. So bye-bye for now. Alrighty then. So... We can go ahead and do that already. So let's just go, cause I don't think there's really anything like we need to build up for. It's just what we need to go do. I'll just heal. Oop. Okay, good, you're happy. Oh, she's so cute, I love it. Um, so we're gonna fly to Jubilife. God, I, get, I, I love looking at that map so much. That's probably not our Star Raptor, but I will say it's Sora. Thanks for flying us here, Sora. Okay, so let me go ahead and heal, because we're going to need to anyway. Um, I think I can go to the Fuego Ironworks already. You know what? I need to go do that. Why don't we take a little side trip today in today's episode, and then the next episode we'll make sure to go to Kanalabe and then... Um, and then I think we're going to be able to go to the Iron Island and stuff like that and finish that up too. So, I think Fuego Ironworks is somewhere over here. Mm, up there, okay. So yeah, we need to go to Floroma Town. So let's go ahead and do that because I think the Magmorizer should be there. And then... Um, we can go ahead and maybe possibly see a Magmortar in tomorrow's or tomorrow, the next episode. So, bye, Shinobu. Oh dang, <laughs> I thought it would have gone. Um, I think I thought it would have like. Uh, sorry, I heard noise over there. Just got distracted. A uh, wife is getting ice from the ice machine. So, I thought I was trying to like listen without stopping my train of thought bad combination so if you come following down this little river area where does this take us oh so the opposite end of the meadow dog this looks so pretty not gonna lie yo another leaf stone uh fun fact i found one in the underground because i i like to kind of play around in the underground on uh off camera and then just go around and try to find as many statues and stuff Ooh, Miracle Seed for Bonsai. Not too bad. Uh, anything else? Oh, a Hyper Potion over here. Um, not too bad. I think, if I'm not mistaken, these little tufts of grass might have. No. I was being hopeful. I'm a jar of honey right here. I'm pretty sure there's more, but... Nice little area, just in case if you guys want to go see the back of the meadow here, since we're here at the Fuego Ironworks anyway, so. Are there a Magnemite here already? I'm gonna 
go, go ahead and grab these berries real quick. Ooh, citrus berry. I'm probably going to be taking my time and growing those over. Because, um, fun fact and breaking the fourth wall. Uh, this is the day before Thanksgiving that I'm recording. So, um, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Uh, I know it's already afterwards anyway, but... Um, I'm probably going to be taking these days, these next, like, four or five days off of recording and stuff, because I already have a lot. I have enough bolt that I can put out, so. Ooh, a gastrodon. Um, but, I'm probably going to be doing some berry growing, uh, on the side and stuff, so that way I can get some more citrus berries and stuff like that, just in case, you know, if I don't have anything for the team to hold. I could just have them hold citrus berries and heal up better in battle. So, might do that. Alright, Ozai. Need you to run away from this again. Okay. Anything on the top of the stairs over here? Uh, it's just a way to get back. So, uh, for now, let's go ahead and go back into the Fuego Ironworks or inside. Super reminiscent of uh, Gen 1's uh, rocket hideout thing, so love seeing these spinning tiles. You battle? Okay. Oh, nothing too bad. A lot of fighting types, and I just I just like noticed um, it must suck as like the Pokemon trainer running in here with a winter styled coating because it must be hot as hell in here. And then for them just to be running around in a winter clothing and coat. This is dangerous, son. Um, especially you know, if you if you do this line of work or anything like this, like my hat's off to you because I, I don't think I'd be able to. Like I can't. Um, but for people who do like ironworking or smithing or anything like that, it always very it, like it interests me, but I don't think I could ever do it. Be I mean, maybe the smithing I would like to try, but having to be like in a type of factory like this would suck, and I, I don't envy it at all, so. Um, where are we going through this? I think... No. Am I missing something? No. Oh. Um, here we go. I'm gonna go back and get that item. Hiya! Okay, so cool. Another item, Firestone. So just in case if you guys need it here. Uh, you can also find a whole bunch of stones and stuff down in the underground, but um, these are just some other like guaranteed places where you can find them. Um, that will go left, up, right, up, left, up. If I take the middle, it's gonna take me left. Up, uh, and then left again. I think I want the top one. Oh no. Okay, yeah, I did. I want to come get that item. So, perfect. Ooh! Okay. So, we got a jar of rock incense. Okay. So, they're jars. Instead of just being straight up an in incense. So, well, ignore me. <laughs> so, okay, good. So we need to talk to you. Well, hello. It's not often I get a visitor here. I've tried to make their ironworks run better with the moving floor tiles, but no one's happy about it. They said that the moving floor would make them dizzy. But if you don't want to listen to me whine, here's a souvenir. So we got another Firestone. Very nice. Um, purely, that's all there really is here besides the flamethrower, by the way. Let's go. Um, I think you can also purchase the flamethrowers too now. So that is a bonus. Uh, so I guess no Magmarizer then. I might need to see where that is because it wasn't there. So a little unfortunate. Um, but why don't we do one more detour? This might be a little longer of an episode, but I'll call this the detour episode. You know, whatever. Let's, let's go a field trip around. Um, let's go field tripping around all the little side areas and stuff. So... Uh, we should have been able to come to the... I, I, ha I still haven't done it. But the... Uh, haunted Chateau. The old Chateau. 
is what I meant to say. Um, I still haven't gone and done that yet, so why don't we go ahead and do that for a bit? And then I th that will be the last stop in today's episode. I want to see if I can, if that is the case, we can go get Rotom already, or that might be something that we're going to have to do once we get the national decks and stuff. So, God, I love the lighting in this. Uh, let's see, a turn of forest. Okay, so we're probably gonna, we're gonna be super over leveled on this. Alrighty, thank you. Okay, so I love encounters so much. I'm just gonna put up a repel. Why not? That's not it. I keep forgetting. Uh, right here then. Alright, I need that. So we got an ether right here. Very nice. Uh, I've always loved the idea of the old chateau and stuff. I kind of wish that they did more with it. <laughs> God, the music. Let's see the upper floor. Was it here? It is here. Probably a really bad idea to do it during a recording but I'm putting faith in my recording software. OBS, please. So it's staring. Okay, so we can't do that yet then. So then I really saved for no reason then. So if anything goes wrong, you can blame me. So we got the dread plate. Very, very nice. That's going to be useful for... Um, what's her face? Nezuko, yes. Very, very nice for Nezuko right there. Uh, let's go ahead and explore the other room. Does the ghost girl come out? She does. She's there. Ooh, that's creepy. Even that little face is looking at you. Oh, my God. Holy crap. This is like... I, I even heard a laughing in my ears, too. Oh, my God. This is, this is genuinely kind of creepy. Like... Legit, I would love to see Pokemon or like anything take like a horror route, to be honest. So, is there anything that we need to do before if we were to do this event? Or is it just national decks? Okay, so it seems like it's just a national decks thing. And I was just getting a little too excited, but either way. Uh, that's where you can find some cool TMs and stuff there, so. Another old Gatu. Gato? Gato? Old Gato? Uh, it works similar to, like, the lava cookie and stuff. You eat it, or if you have your Pokemon use it, you'll have, uh, you clear your status effects. So, very nice. Uh, empty. Empty. Get an antidote in this one, so, very cool. I uh, can't read the sign, unfortunately. What about over here? There has to be like some significance in here. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and hop on out of here. I think we just need the top right and we should be done. Um, empty. Okay, well. It doesn't seem like there's anything else. Mainly the bigger rooms in the back and stuff are are the bigger attractions and stuff. And obviously the ghost girl. <laughs> Such a chill forest, but with some creepy story and stuff going on in the back. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. I do appreciate you all so much for this amazing support for this series. I'm loving every bit of it, every step of the way as well. So... If you guys are enjoying this, please make sure you're hitting that like button and subscribing to join the Snock Squad today. And so that way you guys stay updated whenever I upload these. So with that being said, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what we can do in Kanalava City and see if we can also finish up the, the Iron Island as well. So thank you all so much for watching. See you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.